Hey, it's Summer. Welcome back to Friday at Franz. I'm going to be doing the quick holiday gift this week. We're going to be doing a Scandinavian folded star. What's nice about this project, it requires no sewing at all. It's just going to be folded strips. The key to this project that I'm doing is going to be the Tyrael Magic Spray. We have a lot of it here in the shop. We rarely use it for projects, so I wanted to show it off for a project. So what it does is it stiffens your fabric to a little bit more than your um, traditional starch spray. You can see I can kind of hold this strip almost level where, you know, a normal one, it's going to flop over very easily. And then we're going to fold them into bias strips. So let's get started. These Scandinavian stars are a quick and easy project. They only require four fabric strips. I do two of uh, contrasting colors. You'll cut them four by 16, or if you'd like to make them bigger, whatever size finished size you want the strip, you're gonna times that by four. And that will give you your width to cut them at. So once I have my strip set with the arterial magic spray, you can see the instructions for using the spray on the bottle. I'm gonna fold this into a nice double fold here. So first I'm gonna press it down the middle and this is just gonna give me a nice guideline to work off of. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the outside strip towards that middle line. I'm gonna press all the way down that side here. So, and I'm just making sure it meets that middle line. I'd rather it be a little short than go over because it's gonna make it harder to fold. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna flip the strip over and do the same thing here. So I'm gonna meet it towards that middle line and press it flat. And then I'm gonna fold this in half there. And then I'm gonna press that flat. I use a little bit of steam to help it stay closed. Steam's not gonna hurt the material magic. And there we go. And you're going to start with four strips like this. Okay. So with these four finished strips, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up. So that open fold is all the same way. And then I'm going to fold them. I want to leave about one and a half to two inches on the top here. And then I'm just going to press that fold line there. And then I'm going to match all of my other ones up to the first one. So they're all about even. They don't need to be perfect because we'll be trimming off the ends as we go. So to lay out our star, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna put a strip up here facing that way. The other one of the same color is gonna face opposite ways. It's a lot like folding weaving paper together like we did in school. This next one, it's gonna go through the top there and then it's gonna go inside the bottom one. And for our bottom strip, we're going to do that the opposite way. So we're going to go over our bottom strip and through our top facing one. So we have a nice tight weave here. So next we're going to pull these tight. Slowly work them together. We want them as tight as we can get them. There we go. And if you want to make sure they don't slip, you can use some clips and clip them to the two sides here. It should be just fine. I'm going to give it a quick press just to help it hold its shape. And then we're going to flip it over to the back. From here, we're going to take our longer strips. This is why we left them a little bit longer. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold one over, then this one over that one. 
this one over this one. And for this last one, it's very important. We're going to have to tuck it underneath our first one. So you'll need to at least leave a little slack and work it through there. And then we're going to pull these tight. So I work on, I pull from opposite sides and just kind of work them together till they're nice and tight. Nice little four patch there in the middle. We're going to give that a nice little press. And from here, all we have to work on is our star points. So it looks a lot like a solid tooth star. We want that slanted side towards the middle. We want them both facing each other. So you're always going to start on where they match each other. So you're going to find two that match and you're going to pull, point to the outside and we're going to finger press it. This is where the material magic helps us out. Then we're going to flip. See how I have the triangle here. We're going to take our end. We're going to fold it straight down. So we have two matching triangles here and then this side is going to fold over the top and from here i can see that i have a lot extra here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim the tail of this piece down to an eighth to a quarter inch short of the different color piece in front of it here so i'm going to take my scissors it doesn't need to be perfect and i'm just going to take it and i'm going to trim it And trim it there. It doesn't need to be a perfectly straight line because nobody's going to see that. So I'm going to tuck it in there. And there we have our first point. So as you work your way around, as you flip it, it will make sense here. Because see, we already have right together together. So we know we can do this one next. We're going to fold it towards the outside. Finger press it down. Flip it. So now we see the opposite fabric here on top. We're going to fold down so we have two triangles, fold our triangles together, then we're going to trim, and then we're going to tuck, you tuck on to the, into the opposite color always. And then I get up a nice little press. If you want to help keep these staying a little bit more, you can put fabric glue in right here when you're folding them just to give them something to stick to. Or you can come through and hand stitch them. I'm going to show you one more time how to do the triangles. So we're going to do same color to same color. Fold out. Press it. Remember, flip. We're going to fold down so we have two matching triangles. We're going to fold it on top of each other. Trim it to the size that we want, a little bit short of the color up top. And then we're tucking into the opposite color. There we go. And then I'm going to go through and just do these real quick. Tuck or fold. Fold. I can actually trim it at this step too. Fold, tuck into opposite. I give them a press every once in a while just to keep the points nice and sharp. Fold. Flip, fold, and trim. Fold it one more time and tuck. And we move on. Matching to matching. Fold, fold. Matching, matching, fold, flip, fold, cut. 
tuck. And then the, your last fold, tuck it in to the opposite. And then we got one more. So fold out, flip, fold down, trim, and then we're going to tuck into opposite. And that's our Scandinavian star. You can make them in all different sizes, all different color combinations. They don't just have to be for Christmas. You can make them however you like. Thanks for watching.